So we will start um, by talking about the connection between truth and beauty and stories and design, these four different principles that are closely related. Um, if you remember from our session yesterday, um, we care about finding truth and um, using the principles of beauty to be able to tell stories and uncover truth, um, and that truth is not merely something that you find in raw data. So if you remember the data source dozen um, with those data points that all had the same standard deviation and mean and vari variance um, and correlation, but when you look at them, they tell wildly different stories. And so you need um, to be able to apply the principles of design and actually look at your data um, to be able to uncover important truths and find, um, find the things that you're looking for. Um, one common form of pushback um, that you get in the statistics world, and we talked about this yesterday, is that often statisticians and data analysis or data analysts don't care about the design aspect of the things that they create. Um, there's this desire to just look at the raw data and to not let um, the decisions of a designer influence your decision making, um, which, as we saw yesterday with the data source, doesn't is not great. Um, there's also a hesitancy to care about design because it takes extra time and so it's fine to just live with uh, the default colors, to live with the default fonts, and to not worry about um, changing anything because it takes extra time and if it's a default it's probably okay. Um, so you're probably familiar with things like this in Excel, um, the default colors that are there, people are totally fine seeing those. Um, Font choices, people love fonts, um, but without good design principles, you'll end up choosing weird fonts. So if you ever watched the, the movie Avatar with the blue people in it, um, for whatever reason, they chose to use Papyrus um, as the subtitle font, which is insanely ugly and very hard to read, but they did it, I guess, to look foreign and exotic, but it wasn't a great design decision. Um, and so if you follow these design principles and care about this, then you'll avoid doing strange things in Hollywood movies. Um, so the reason we care about this, as we talked about yesterday, um, art is a form of finding truth, um, and it's the method that we, we use to translate um, core content into different forms for different audiences. And so you can teach different principles about the world, about humanities, through stories, through art, um, through music, through all sorts of different forms. Um, stories are one of these forms, and it is um, stories are core to kind of our human existence. If we want to start veering into the humanities touchy-feely land really quick, um, there's this important quote from um, the scholar on uh, uh, literature here that says um, that a need to tell and hear stories is essential to our species. Um, that's the way we think of the world and that we uh, come to understand the world. And so we need those stories to be able to, to understand where we are in space and where we are in time. Um, but we need to be able to make those stories beautiful. And so if you um, majored in English, you learned how to do beautiful writing. If you majored in art, you knew how to create beautiful artwork that communicated some sort of truth. Um, and so as we talked about yesterday, truth comes from the combination of you know, the core content that you want to present and then the, the form that it fits in. Um, so even raw facts, um, scientific data is subject to this idea where you have some sort of raw content, but it has to be formed in some way. And so you can have raw numbers, um, but you have a form for that. The, the raw numbers have to fit in, and that's how they get communicated and understood as a story. And so beauty, the principles of beauty and aesthetic, um, aesthetic design shapes that form and shapes how we communicate the data. Um, and so the reason this is important is because you can learn these principles. Um, you can learn these aesthetic principles and create that beauty and then enhance the truth and move beyond just spreadsheets of numbers and be able to, to show something important. Um, and so as long as we understand these aesthetic principles and learn them and practice them, um, we can become more powerful communicators and be able to communicate the truth that we want to get across to our audience. Um, so let's talk about these core principles.